Ciao, sono Anne e questo è My Italian Circle. Vuoi capire le notizie in italiano? Ti aiuto io! Welcome to our first Easy News in Italian of 2024. Our keywords for today. Intelligenza artificiale. Fotomontaggio. Tavolata. Spumante. Ready? I'll be back in a sec. Non cambiare canale. Today, our first news in Italian takes us to Turin, Torino, where a photographer took a very special picture. Let's have a look at it. Here it is. Eccola qua. Ansa, the Italian news agency, describes this shot as follows. Superga, il Monviso e la Luna. La foto del giorno NASA è di Torino. Scattata da Valerio Minato. Siamo circondati da meraviglia. Superga, il Monviso e la Luna. Three places all lined up in this picture. Superga is a hill just out of Turin, famous for a majestic Baroque church, la Basilica di Superga. Il Monviso is a mountain on the border between Italy and France, and la Luna is the moon, of course. Autore Regalo Condividere Meraviglia la foto del giorno NASA è di Torino. The NASA picture of the day is from Turin. Scattata da Valerio Minato. Shot by Valerio Minato, who says Siamo circondati da meraviglia. We are surrounded by Wanda. Let's read more about this picture. La Basilica di Superga, la piramide del Monviso e la falce della luna crescente. The Basilica of Superga, the Pyramid of Monviso, and the Waxing Crescent Moon. Tutti in fila, al tramonto, uno dietro l'altro. All in a row, at sunset, one behind the other. Arriva da Torino la foto astronomica del giorno della NASA per il 25 dicembre. NASA's astronomical photo of the day for the 25th of December comes from Turin. L'autore è il fotografo Valerio Minato. The author is photographer Valerio Minato. Il regalo più bello, una gioia immensa, ha scritto sulla sua pagina Facebook. The most beautiful gift, an immense joy, he wrote on his Facebook page. Condividetelo se vi va per aiutarmi a far capire che siamo circondati di meraviglia anche senza fotomontaggi o intelligenza artificiale. Share it, if you like, to help me let people understand that we are surrounded by Wanda, even without photomontages or artificial intelligence. Let's explain the expression falce di luna. Falce literally means sickle. That's what we call the crescent moon for its shape. Luna crescente, instead, is waxing moon, literally the growing moon. Luna calante is waning moon. Photomontaggio, photomontage, is an old-fashioned process which we would now call photoshopping. In Italian, we also turned the software name Photoshop into a verb. Photoshopare, to photoshop. Finally, l'intelligenza artificiale, artificial intelligence. This is a very popular topic right now. So, I have a question for you. Questa fotografia è stata creata dall'intelligenza artificiale? È un fotomontaggio? Sì o no? Rispondi nei commenti. Answer in the comments. For our second new story, we look back at the 2023 holiday season that has just ended to talk about holiday spending. Let's read this headline from ANSA. Col diretti, 
A Natale gli italiani hanno speso 3 miliardi a tavola, 1 miliardo per pesce e carni, 600 milioni per spumante e vino. Spendere Miliardi Trascorrere Commensali Col diretti a Natale gli italiani hanno speso 3 miliardi a tavola. Col diretti, the Italian Agricultural Association says At Christmas Italians spent 3 billion in food. A tavola literally means at the table, but it's a metonymy, una metonymia, a very common figure of speech. We say table, but we mean food. Un miliardo per pesce e carni. 600 milioni per spumante e vino. 1 billion for fish and meat. 600 million for sparkling wine and other wines. If there's something Italians do not skimp on, that's food. Let's read a few lines from this story. Gli italiani hanno speso quasi 3 miliardi di euro per cibo e bevande tra la cena della vigilia e il pranzo di Natale. Italians spent almost 3 billion euro on food and drink between Christmas Eve dinner and Christmas lunch. Che quasi 9 italiani su 10 hanno deciso di trascorrere a casa o con parenti o amici which almost 9 out of 10 Italians decided to spend at home or with relatives or friends. Tornano le tavolate! A Natale 2023 la media è di 8 commensali. Big family meals are back. At Christmas 2023 the average was 8 people eating together. So, It looks like people spent more time together in the last holiday season, eating and drinking, of course. La cena della vigilia, Christmas Eve dinner, e il pranzo di Natale, Christmas lunch, are the central events of the holidays in Italy. Most people do one or the other, but some families do both. Sparkling wine, lo spumante, is the king of the table. Dry before a meal, sweet with pandoro and a panettone. Tavolata is an interesting word. It comes from tavola, but it evokes the image of a large dinner table with lots of people around. E tu, come hai passato le feste? How did you spend the holidays? Did you spend endless time sitting at the table eating and drinking? Or did you have an alternative Christmas? Let me know! in the comments. You can find more interesting words and more questions in our premium content on Patreon. Check it out! For more new stories, watch the other episodes of this playlist. Next week, I'll be back with an important grammar lesson. Don't miss it! Ciao! Condividetevelo! <ride> Vicissimi!